Hey everybody, it's Tim Riley from RPG Keys, and if you're anything like me, you absolutely loathe reading direction manuals that come in text. So at RPG Keys, we try to do our instruction manuals as a video. We think it's easier, um, it's an easier mechanism to help you with your keys. This video uh, assumes that you have an RPG key, either 16 key, 22 key, or 58 key, that is set up with text on any of the keys. Um, that you basically have a default layout that you're going to use for your RPG key in either Lightroom or Photoshop. If not, then go ahead and stop this video and uh, either skip to the next one or call us and we'll help you. Um, our policy here is to pretty much help every one of our customers learn how to use our product because if you get frustrated and it collects dust, then you're not going to become a fan and you're not going to tell anybody about how great our product is. So if you get frustrated, stop what you're doing, call us, we'll help you out. Um, but please watch these videos, they're super helpful. So um, the first thing that you want to know is that the RPG key company is no longer doing uh, active updates for 10.6, 7, and 8 on your Mac. Um, Mavericks has been out for um, over a year now, I believe, and it's very stable. And so we're doing all of our work for 10.9. Um, if you're using 10.7 or 10.8, give me a call um, and I'll help you set up your RPG key. But um, by and large, Everybody should pretty much be on Mavericks at this point because it is it is a, a better operating system and the future of uh, the Mac OS. So we're gonna start here by um, going in the 10.9 folder and we're gonna click on this, uh, this icon here that's RPG v7 and we're gonna drag it to our application folder so that RPG keys now lives um, in the applications of your Mac. I'm going to go into the application folder. I'm going to go find RPG, okay? Um, and I'm going to then drag it to my dock, which is just outside of um, view of this video. So I'm going to find RPG v7, and I'm going to go and I'm going to drag it down to the bottom of my screen, and I'm personally going to put it next to my version of Lightroom, because when you want to use your RPG keys in Lightroom or Photoshop, your RPG key software needs to be running. So that's just a little tip. Our software needs to run if you want our keyboard to do what our keyboard does. Um, on Mavericks, there's a little bit of setup. We're going to go up to the Apple. We're going to go to System Preferences. And we're going to wait for that to load. And we're going to go to Security and Privacy. And there's two things we need to do here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Security Privacy. And we're going to go to the General tab. And we're going to unlock it. OK, I'm going to take this out here, put my password in. OK. So we're going to allow a program on our Mac to run from anywhere. So yours might say Mac Store. Your mind say it might say Mac Store and Identify Developer. You want to click on anywhere. Okay, that's the first thing. The next thing is you want to go to and if you don't do this, by the way, it will tell you your computer will tell you that the RPG program is corrupted, that the file is corrupted, and that you need to delete it. It's just Mac's uh, kind of warning that it wants you to get rid of it. There's nothing wrong with the RPG key. There's no malware. It's just that we don't pay Apple to be an identified developer because we're too small. All right, so now you're going to go to privacy and you're going to go down to accessibility. So yours might look like this. You're going to go down to accessibility. And what you need to do is you need to take the RPG key from the applications folder and drag it over here. And you'll see it listed here. You might even see it listed twice. That's okay. Um, so that's that. That's how you want to start your RPG keys. And then you can go ahead and or excuse me, that's how you want to set your Mac up to be kind of friendly for your RPG key. So now I'm going to go ahead and start my RPG key software. And it's going to ask me for a password this time. And it's going to ask me to activate. Okay, this is the RPG activation um, window. So you're going to put your name in. You're going to put in your email. Okay. And then you're gonna, the code that you see here is not your code. You're gonna put in your code. So I'm gonna drag this off the screen. I highly recommend you just copy and paste it from your confirmation email. But I'm gonna put mine in. And okay. And so now, and hit enter, and now it says your RPG key is active. So we're gonna go ahead and hit cool. And so a moment later, your RPG key will launch. I'm trying to run an old version. You know, you can't run an old version of your RPG key. It won't work. Hold on. Let me start. Let me start the current version. 
Great video, Tim. So running 10, a 10.8 version of the RPG key on a 10.9 environment will not work. All right, cool. So here is what your RPG key looks like. This is what you should have as well. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pick which version of the RPG key you have. If you got it at WPPI, you probably have the 22 key or 21 key. If you got it through the mail, you might have a 16 key or a 58 key. So I'm gonna pick 21 key. That's the first thing I'm gonna do, okay? The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna pick my version of Photoshop and Lightroom. I, where the one that 99% of our customers use is Lightroom 5. So I'm gonna click on Lightroom 5. And so now I'm gonna pick a default layout, and this is important. So there, the RPG key comes in a variety of different layouts. Um, the one from WPPI a couple years ago was called the RPG 22 key layout. There's the um, Jared Platt layout, and then there's the RPG alternate. If you were at WPPI 2014, you've got the RPG alternate layout. If you click on this, it's gonna take a moment, but it's gonna load all of the settings so that your RPG key does the things that the keyboard says it does. So button 216 is gonna do exposure up and exposure down. Button 215 is gonna do um, probably, I don't even have a keyboard in front of me, but probably contrast up and contrast down. So this tool here, it basically sets your RPG key up so that it does the things that it says it does. It makes it kind of plug and play. Um, and so that's pretty much it. You wait for a couple minutes for this to be done and you're ready to go and use your RPG key in either Lightroom or Photoshop. Um, so that's it. That's your confirmation. You've set your Maverick computer up for your RPG key and now you can go play.